accused of jumping the gun by joining the South African Rainbow Alliance without the go-ahead. Makuela broke her silence at a briefing in Santon earlier today where she made her debut as president of SARA. I was fired because I dared to believe that I can. I can lead and I can lead SARA and I can lead the nation of South Africa. I was fired because I had the courage to voice my ambition and to raise my hand in this dire state of our nation to say I'm available to be a leader. A partly cloudy Thursday in store for Hauteng tomorrow. Joburg dropping to an overnight low of 11 degrees, peaking at 25. Pretoria 12 and 28, Vereniging 13 and 27. Lerato Huffela, Eyewitness News. Eyewitness News on 947. For more, click ewn.co.za. Hashtag MSW. You may begin to feel anxious or excited. Honest, deliberate, engaging, uncensored. High dosage administration can cause adverse reactions. And most importantly, independent in mind and execution. This is a normal response. Are you ready? We're our sports worldwide. Monday, boys, holiday. Tuesday is not compulsory. Wednesday is set up. Thursday is set up. Friday is set up. Saturday is set up. Sunday, who is having my tag? See how much. We're officially sold out before kickoff. I heard. No, man, guys, Kuna doesn't still play. He's still playing. Holding Holland. Slides to the ahead. With customary calm. An absolute certainty. Chelsea call it. But right now, though, technical director at the International Football Association Board, IFAB, as they call it, uh, David joins me in studio. South Africa wants VAR. A large portion say they want VAR. What I've been saying is that South Africans don't have professional referees right now. So is it not jumping the gun? I think VAR could help a great deal in South Africa. A lot of your disputes, for example, about offside, which is a a factual decision. And I think that you don't need to have full-time referees Mm. to make good use of VAR. Robert Marawa, live on 947. Vuma FM, Rise FM, and Sowetan Live. Wednesday nights, soccer nights, your nights. Good evening, Mr. Marawa. I'm saying there is something that we, maybe the um, legends that we have, like Abu um, Jerry Kosana, Daniel Mutau, they should open their school and train only strikers in South Africa. Train only strikers. If you can have people like that who will train only strikers, then even teams, PSL teams or NFT, they know it. If you want a strike, go to Mr. Daniel Motau and Jerez Kosan. You will have the striker that you want. In South Africa, it would be easier to have a strong Bafana Bafana because we will have our players here in South Africa, training here in South Africa to be a striker. From a young age, maybe like seven years old, they grow up in this school. You, tra- you only train to be a striker. How to score goals. That's all. Uh, maybe let's try that. I think in South Africa we'll have players. Uh, strikers, good strikers. Yeah, so many suggestions that are coming through in terms of how to improve South African football, uh, including using some of the former strikers, former professional strikers to coach strikers in the league hey well, i mean what a suggestion anything right now would do anything right now would help the cause for south africa and if that is one of them and believe you me it's not for lack of trying you know south african football players especially the strikers i've spoken to the jerry's kosanas i've spoken to the mark williams's of this world and they've all said they've tried the clubs don't want them the clubs don't want to work with them for whatever the reason is so We'll park it there. Maybe one day we'll have an open discussion. We'll bring them into the studio. We'll find out exactly what is going on. What is the problem? Why are they being rejected from the system? Are they even going for their training badges? Maybe that's the question. I don't know. But if you've been a striker, <laughs> so that is why a Man United would look at a Benny McCarthy and say, yeah, yeah, we, we see you. You're not, uh, you're not English. Um, 
but you played in England and we've seen you play before. Uh, but we think you, you could do a job here at Manchester United. The whole band United says to our very own Benny McCarthy, whereas here in South Africa, half the time you don't see the value of individuals like that. And uh, hmm. topic for another day. Hey, Mark Fish, if you're listening. We'll raise it, man. We will raise it. Oh, talking about raising it. The temperature in India right now is at an all-time high. If you're watching the semi-final New Zealand up against India, the host nation, the favourites to win the Cricket World Cup. I think they're in a position right now, driving... they a driving seat, man. 259 for four. They need about, what, 139 runs, eh? Of 62 balls in that region. But it's also just been about the history that's been made. I mean, I've been in awe of this game. There have been drop catches that should have not been dropped. But most importantly, if you're a Virat Kohli fan, I mean, he struck a record 50th 100. Yeah, 50th 100 in one day is against New Zealand in that semi-final. It's at the Wakendi Stadium. I mean, his knock of 117, which came off 113 balls, that alone is ridiculous. It gave him the record for the highest number of centuries in the 50 overs format of the game, taking him past two. His all-time favorite cricketer as well. And that's why you could tell, even from the celebration, there was humility, there was excitement. Took his helmet off. And I think he just looked to the side. I don't know if uh, Sachin is there, but he looked to that side with the greatest humility and raised his hands. So Sachin Tandulka taken past that record now with the Indian batting grade present in the stands to applaud that. And that's exactly where he directed it to. But New Zealand not losing hope. A lot of what they're doing now just really trying to be ambitious. Trying to get to the boundary. Half the time it's not working. But it's a fascinating match. It's a fascinating game of cricket. But let's take you back now. The commentators were lapping it up. He's charging for the second. He will get the second. Number 50 arrives for Virat Kohli. And he stands alone aloft on that summit. Nobody else there. And that feeling of achievement will be tinged with a little bit of humility in the fact that he's gone past someone that he absolutely adored. But what a career this is. 50 one day hundreds 50 just let that sink in a little bit say gently 50 one day international hundreds the higher you go the lonelier you get they say and i don't think there's going to be many standing with virat kohli 50 international odi hundreds someone he's admired over the years sachin tenilko in the crowd and plenty of others as well from the world cup semi-final it is virat kohli yet again bringing up his 50th odi when Team India needed it the most. What a knock it's been. It was all just the perfect script, wasn't it? The semi-final, great batting surface. Tendulkar is here too. Hey, 50th ODI. Hey, hundreds. That's what the commentator said. Say that again very, very slowly. All right, if you watch that, if you watch that bit of history and whatever was happening, even Shami himself, I mean, he became the fastest bowler to take 50 wickets in the whole of a World Cup in the history of the sport. So you can share some of those moments with us. 060-708-0484. 060-708-0484. I mean, with excitement comes sadness. And, and it's always sad to lose individuals within the sporting fraternity. Zimbabwe as well as Super Sport United. Goalkeeper George Chigova was 32 years old. Uh, we say to the family, may soul rest in peace. Memories abound indeed for all the great work that this gentle giant did right here in South Africa for South African football. Uh, from the news that we got earlier was that he had passed away due to cardiac arrest. He had a heart attack. But all the great memories as well on social media from some of the former players played with and alongside him, against him, whichever one it is, it's been very constant what a gentleman of the game he was. And like all of us right here on hashtag MSW, 
We do say may his soul rest in peace. Previously on Marawa Sports Worldwide. But right now, though, technical director at the International Football Association Board, IFAB, as they call it, uh, David joins me in studio. And there is still that uh, cry from some people who still believe that uh, VAR is not uh, doing any justice in terms of uh, decision making. Yeah, I think what we have to understand is in football, there are two types of decisions. They're the factual and the subjective. So goal line technology is a factual decision. FIFA are working very hard on offside technologies. There are two parts to offside. Are you in an offside position, which is factual, and are you then committing an offence in that position, getting in the way of the view of the goalkeeper? So we can use technology for the factual decision. Hashtag MSW. Hashtag MSW. Well, undoubtedly, one of the most skillful players this country has ever, ever produced. I mean, that shot stopping and show stopping and show boating, whichever it was. But hey, all of that aside, I-, I talk about the football player that was just great. Anything that you gave to him on the field of play, he delivered. I mean, the pace down the flanks was incredible. He was a thrill to watch. Probably still is. I don't know. Uh, simply because I don't know if you're still playing football. Uh, I think you speak to most of the former teammates and the one thing that they always say very consistently about him, apart from his uh, killer dance moves, is just how he was highly influential to the game. A game changer of note, a fantastic individual. One of those scorers of breathtaking goals. From Platinum Stars, Mamelodi Sundowns, Kaiser Chiefs, Supersport United, so many. That was the talent to Sopala. That was his name. That's his name. That's the name you'll hold forever on the back of his jersey. In his ID book. That's who he is. I mean, we don't see him in the professional game anymore. And we get worried when that happens. I was, I was, I was shifting around. I was trying to look at records. I was trying to go through old documents to see maybe I might have missed a press release that said, I, Tusopala, officially retire from the beautiful game of football. I did not find anything. So that is why he's here in studio. Tusopalo, good evening. Welcome to the show. Good evening, Mr. Marawa. Once again, hey. oh, it's always lovely to be invited by you to your shows. Yeah, it's great, man. I mean, <laughs> just when you say Mr. Marawa, like I'm some old dopey, you and I always say Rob Tuso. So let's keep it that way. <laughs> okay, well, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> we miss you on the field, man. Um, how much do you miss the game? The game, yeah. Uh, a lot, every day. I yeah. mean, uh, it's been my life. So... It's kind of, it takes some time to adjust to that uh, lifestyle way now. Soccer is no more part of my life, which has been so many years. So, yeah, it takes some adjusting. But, I mean, I still take out, uh, take part in the social games. Mm-hmm. The indoor games, Nyana. In Pinville. Yeah, in Pinville. Yes. How? You come to the games? Of course I do. <laughs> I've, I've seen you. I've watched you play. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm like uh, Tomaso. No, seriously. Uh, yeah. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, on Sundays when we've got the MLS League, it's the uh, Sunday Masters League. Yeah. And so, wait, so I've got a team there. So, every Sunday, we've got a properly run league. And, yeah, we're even starting the top eight this weekend. We have a top eight from last season. We came third in the league. So, yeah. Nice. So, what are, what you, are you a club owner now? Uh, not an owner. I'm, I'm a player. I play for... No, I, I know you play. I've seen you play, but I'm saying that is the intention to be a club owner. No, it's not. Not. No, it's just to keep, uh, just to keep fit, man. Yeah. So just. when you say you miss the game, then it goes back to the point that I was making earlier on. Although there is no official statement, mm-hmm. have you officially retired from professional football? Not officially, but uh, unofficially retired. What's the difference? I think the difference is that officially retired, you announce that you are now retired. Mm-hmm. Uh, unofficially, it means that you were still active, but then you never got a chance to play again. So, so what has stopped you then from making an announcement? I've, I've, I've never had the platform. Like, well, we're four minutes <laughs> away from. <laughs> We are four minutes away from yeah. taking a break. <laughs> so if ever you needed yeah. a platform, you've run out of paper or ink to type out a platform or yeah. a paper or an announcement. Yeah, we have a platform that's being listened to, even watched across the YouTube channel right now. Yeah. Uh, around people listening in KZN, Pumalanga. Yeah, I think world. this is the, the, the perfect platform, actually. 
What do you have to say to the nation? Oh, like I'm officially retired from football. You're retiring officially and yes. announcing it officially today for the first time. Yeah. At exactly 17 minutes past six. six. Yeah. Uh, on the MSW show, I'm officially announcing my retirement from professional football on the biggest show. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that you said it, but I thank you for the compliment. Yeah, I, I mean, I look at you and I don't know how to feel. I mean, it's, if it was a different announcement, I would be clapping, but I can't. I mean, there's almost a tinge of sadness because there's a finality that comes... I think yesterday it was Alex Song who was announcing his retirement of, of all of football. And you start to think, my goodness, we're never going to see that person again. And when you say it today, 15th of November, 2023, at 1817, and I'm saying, hmm, we're never going to see Tuzopala again. Yeah. How do you feel now that you've got that off your chest? Yeah, well, as, as I said, it's it's been unofficially. So, yeah. but now saying it officially, it yeah, it kind of hits home. Like, this is it from the game, and you know, it's not something which I like sit back and like get to think about. Yeah. But now, after saying it, it really is like, you know, realizing that. Is it emotional though? Yeah, it is. Actually, it is. You know, because it's, uh, it's a it's a big chunk of who you've been. It's a big chunk of. What we right. know you as. Yeah. As I said, like football has been my life. Man. Yeah. I've, I've met great people like you through football. I've traveled in the continent because of football. You yeah. know, it's been my whole life, like 15 years of professional football. So, and yeah, highly appreciated. Uh, got to represent my country, uh, which is something that every South African wants to do. And yeah, and I think, yeah, I've, I think I've, I've ran a good race, man. So, I think there's no other show than to announce this, actually. Sure. So I think your your timing of inviting me to the show was really on point, as usual. <laughs> <laughs> he says, as usual, this man. I think we've had many battles on air with this guy. Yeah, <laughs> many battles. But the mutual respect has always stayed because Tusopala, of any other human being, knows that I've got a job to do. If I have to push and force him and drive him yeah. into a corner, he knows, he understands it's not personal. I have a job to do. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the breaking news story as delivered here on the show today by Tuso Pala is that he has now officially retired from all of football. Previously on Marawa Sports Worldwide. But right now, though, Technical Director at the International Football Association Board, IFAB, as they call it, uh, David joins me in studio. Time wasting. How many seconds they allow for that to happen? And there are two elements to time wasting. It's actually to disrupt the tempo and the emotion of the game. So they'll try and slow the game down. They'll commit small fouls. They'll kick the ball away. They'll go down with injuries yeah. to disrupt the tempo. And it's the tempo disruption which we need to deal with. And the Premier League are dealing with it very strongly this season. You'll see more yellow cards for stopping free kicks, kicking the ball away. And with the Irwin one, it wasn't so much the fact that it, he kicked the ball half the length of the field to waste time. He did it to stop Liverpool taking a quick throw in. Hashtag MSW. Hashtag MSW. With a deal this incredible, most car brands would be shouting it from the rooftops. But Mazda is a Japanese company founded on the principles of harmony and balance. Admired for perfecting the refined excellence of its cars for over a hundred years. So although the Mazda CX-3 and CX-5 are now available from only 370 and 470,000 Rand respectively, shouting about it would be, well, a little unnecessary. Contact your nearest Mazda dealer today. Mazda. Made with soul. T's and C's apply. If you want to make real money, you've got to start your own business. The thing is, you need a stable profession. Doctor, lawyer, accountant. You won't get anywhere without a postgrad. Career in tech is the way forward. Going to the family business. It just makes sense. At Investec, we won't tell you how to make your money, but we will help you make the most of it. If you earn over 800,000 Rand per annum, you could qualify to bank with us. We'll even take care of the admin when you switch your account. Now that's private banking. 
Investec is an authorized financial services and registered credit provider. Unlock that summer feeling with Vodacom, SA's most reliable network. Sign up or upgrade and get 500 Rand free in store spend when you get the Honor 90 Lite on a 1.2 gig red core plan for just 329 Rand per month over 36 months. Enhance with Smart Tech and get the Honor Watch 4 Bluetooth from only 69 Rand extra per month. Plus, get your share of 500 million Rand in cash and rewards on Vodapay. Available in store and online. T's and C's apply. Further together, Vodacom. Gogo steps up to the ring. She's pumped and ready to go. Facing down her toughest opponent yet, Wi-Fi. Her family has trained her for this moment. Gogo makes the first move and Wi-Fi surrenders. The match is over. Gogo, that was amazing. How did you do it? No, I used AfriHost. With their easy sign-up process and simple payment methods like EasyPay and PayFast, Wi-Fi doesn't have to be a fight. AfriHost. Ukonwaba. Lula. Jane, do you take this man to be your husband to love, honor, comfort, and sick? Huh? Help? What? For how long? Really? When you have experienced the freedom of real individual choices, everything else that doesn't offer many options becomes questionable. That's the beauty of Avis Eilis, our car usership service that offers you the choice to drive the car you want for as long as you want without the hassles of ownership. You guys need to explore your options more. Avis Eilis, it's next level mobility. Visit avisailis.co.za for details. Doing my accounts is a bit like a time sponge. It's really time consuming. Anything that can help me and make my life easier. Give me five more minutes to spend with my daughter or get together with friends earlier on a Friday night, I will honestly take it. Sage Tools helps small business owners have more time for those precious little moments. Sage, helping business flow. Visit sage.com today. Marawa Sport Worldwide. Right, Chisopala is my guest. Uh, he is no longer with Super Sports United. The comments that came through, and I quote from Stan Matthews, he says, I didn't expect that the best paid player in the history of the club would be ending his career making comments on Twitter, missing training. This is the highest paid player in the history of our football club and possibly in the history of the PSL, end quote. I doubt. I wouldn't know because you wouldn't even know what, what you've been paid. Hashtag MSW. So Padla is his name and he's my guest right here on hashtag MSW Mara Sports Worldwide on a big cricketing semi-final day. India. Yeah, it's not over yet. Frustration somewhat for New Zealand, uh, but everybody waiting in anticipation for it. Uh, they, what, 103 from 44 balls? That's what New Zealand need. Can they get it? They are really swinging it right now. They're going for the... Oh, it's a catch. He's out. Right on the boundary. <laughs> oh, fascinating stuff, man. If you're driving, worry not. I'm here. I've got you covered. I'll tell you about everything that happens out there in the cricket. Tusopala announcing his retirement just a short while ago here. At some point, and this is what brought about unhappiness... I'm going to deal with one of many things. There's a lot of things to your career uh, that happened. Um, so I remember back in 2019, and things went completely off the mark. They went sour from your parent club, which was Super Sport United. And Stan Matthews was very unhappy, very unhappy with you. And he said at the time that I am disappointed with the way the relationship is ending. But he's been a good player for us. And I like him a lot as a person. I didn't expect that the best paid player in the history of the club would be ending his career, making comments on Twitter, missing training, and doing things that you don't expect from a professional player. This is the highest paid player 
in the history of our football club and possibly in the history of the PSL. That was Stan Matthews. Is that true? I don't know, but how can he tell the PSL? Unless maybe he, he knew the salaries of the other teams or the other players. So in the history of the PSL, I don't know. In the history of the club, I'm not sure because it's been three, four years. Yeah. And there have been some signings. Ronwin yeah. uh, renewed, there was Hrobla. But before that, let's let's just count <laughs> the three years. Up until he made that statement, from what you know, mm. were you the highest paid player ever at Super Sport United? No, I think it, it was more of like one of the one of the highest paid players, like in the top five of the senior players that were there. So I was one of them. I was in that bracket. In, in football, there's brackets. Like, mm-hmm. do you know, Take us through those brackets yeah, because we don't know them. There's a bracket whereby yeah. you get uh, senior players who earn like over the 150s. Mm-hmm. Then you get like the previous players who, who are getting between the 150s. Then you get new signings who are getting or in the bracket of between 150 and 200, which like the club has never been in that bracket, you know, and you get the youngsters who are being promoted to the first team and they're in a bracket of like, uh, from that 10,000 from uh, Academy to a 50, it is a big, you're paying a, a, a junior player so much, but coming to the bracket, he's still not getting much money when you, you compare yeah. him to the brackets. But he's a he's a junior player from Supersport Academy, and he comes to the first team and he's earning a forty k, yeah, which which by its four times his salary that he was getting, but it's not enough still if you put him to those brackets I'm talking about. Which bracket did you belong to then? Yeah, I like to believe I, pre- I belonged to the the top five bracket, which is the one fifty plus, the one fifty plus, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah and so, I don't think the club uh, years before had that bracket before the kind of players mm. we had. I think I had a Tim Fairman, uh, Bradley Krobla, a Broki, yes. uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You see, so we had those group that uh, belonged in that bracket, I think. Were you aware that you were one of, let me use your words, one of the best paid at the, the time? Yeah, uh, I, th- I think uh, the relationship I had with Mr. Stan Matthews, I, I really appreciate it. Yeah. And he, he he came to me and made it quite clear that he gives me a contract that I will never uh, get that offer in anywhere. the PSL, anywhere else. Yeah. He wants to bring me to the club. He's seen my potential. He's seen the personality I have. And he wants me, since that time, I was, I was going to be the only player playing for the national team at Supersport before the AFCON, like after the AFCON. So he said he wants to make me that high paid player, Mm -hmm. which is going to bring trophies to the club and bring that personality to the club. And which I think I tried to, you know. So you're talking about AFCON 2019. The first AFCON we, we, we hosted. Yeah. I was signed immediately after that. Okay. Okay. Then the next AFCON that we was in Guinea. I went there as a Super Sport United player. So when he said he was disappointed, and, and obviously now you've, you, you've got all the right to clear the air, what was he disappointed about? I mean, had, had you been an unruly player? Had you been ill-disciplined? Because for somebody like that to go out publicly and talk about one of his best players, even describes you as a great human being. Mm. Sure, you must have done something really bad. Yeah, I think, uh, as I did apologize to the club after, I think how I reacted was, uh, it was it was, a, it was a spear of the moment thing that mm. I didn't expect uh, to get, uh, to, to, uh, for the treatment that I got. Right. Well, I believe that time. The, the story is behind it. I was... Uh, I was not playing anymore. Mm-hmm. It comes a time where, where, as a player, you see there's young players who are being introduced and they're playing in a position and you are like third now on the list of right wingers, let's mm-hmm. say. I was no more being the number one starter and it showed that I'm not playing anymore and 
now my future looks a bit doubtful mm. at the club. Mm. And as a player, you see it, you accept it. You come age, maybe come performance or come a new signing, uh, whichever reasons uh, are that. So then uh, come that time, I had an opportunity to move to another club, a bigger, well, a big club. At that time, when this, when I was not playing. And at that time, when the move only would happen if Supersport were to get a player from the club. The club only wanted to, uh, to release me only if they get a certain player from that club. Right. Right? So there's agents talk and people talk around you. And then I got wind of the of the matter that they wanted a certain player. If, if I almost said the name, if that team released that player. It was Pirates. <laughs> if there is that player. But which player was it at Pirates? I don't know. Which, it was the player. Was. Yeah? Huh? was a player from Pirates. Uh, I'm not sure if it was Pirates, but it was one of the big teams. So if I moved there. But you said, <laughs> when you almost said it, <laughs> there's not a team that's. <laughs> <laughs> so when you say uh, Pirates. <laughs> We can go through all the clubs. Yeah, okay, Mami well, yeah. Sundowns. Yeah, Chippa United. When you go, pff, that's Pirates. Yeah, well, okay, yeah, it was Pirates. It was Pirates, it was pirates yeah. yes. Mm. So, but I won't mention the player. That's I think fine. to be unfair to the player, I think the player is still playing. Mm. So the player, Supersport wanted that player at that time. If I moved to Pirates that time, I uh, was not going to be able to play for the CAF since I was not being re registered. registered yeah. So Pirates opted to keep that player, seeing they were going to still use him for the CAF. So that mm -hmm. also now stopped my move. So now mm -hmm. that move was not going to be able to happen. And I was now going to be able, uh, was supposed to remain at Supersport where I'm not playing, not getting game time. And at that time, naive as I was, I think uh, I saw it as an opportunity being denied mm -hmm. from the team. And well, not actually thinking about the team that, you know, the team has given me such a contract and for them, it's only fair that they also get a, a better deal out of the move. Yeah. Unlike losing me uh, out of spending so much on me and losing me, uh, not gaining anything. Well, well, the, well, the trophies and stuff, it's not only me alone. Mm -hmm. It was a team effort, but I mean, it was going to be a sweeter move for them. Both parties were going to gain and it didn't happen because of that, you know, that also that that term that says that the player was not going to be able to play, Kev, whatever. Yeah. So, yeah, and after that, I retaliated by, you know, saying I need a meeting with the with the board members and I stopped going to training. I wanted to only go to the office. And I also just, you know, acted out of my character, I think. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, I really saw, you know, uh, how I entered and I regretted it. And I also met with Stan Matthews after this whole move, after mm -hmm. I even moved from Supersport. Yeah. I met with him over lunch. And, you know, f for me, I mean, he's, he's someone who changed my life, literally. Yeah. Uh, and so I have a lot to, you know, I owe him a lot. But did you get a chance to address the board, though? Uh, not the board. I only spoke to Mr. Stan. Matthews. Yeah. Uh, and I also put it on the social media, also towards Supersport as a group. And... Yeah. Uh, but what did he want to say to the board? I mean, let, let's, you see all these empty seats here. Let's pretend that the board members are there. Let's pretend that Tubab Kulusbi is there yeah. as the chair and everybody else that's around him is here. What, yeah. what did you want to tell them? And I know they're listening right now, so you might as well address them. Yeah, I wanted to say uh, uh, thank you for the opportunity they gave me to play for Super Sports United. Uh, thank you for the opportunity that they gave me to make so much money in football. At the club, mm. I'm so grateful to the opportunity I got at Supersport United, and also I want to send my apology for how it ended. Uh, I think it could have ended better from my behavior, and for me, there's no bad blood uh, with the club. Uh, whatever prior move that was meant to happen and didn't happen, I think it was just meant to be mm. that it didn't happen. And yeah, it's football, and we move. And uh, Supersport is a club that I hold very dearly to. Me. Oh, talk about hearts. holding very dearly to anything. The words that a lot of people will, and you know South Africa, um, they'll go back to this moment where you say you thank them for making so much money out of football. So my question to you, because as you know, we speak very openly, how are you handling that money? How are you investing that money? 
how are you using it for your betterment in the future? And I'm assuming that there is still money that you're holding back for your betterment and for your future. Yeah, well, uh, at that time, I, I, I go to buy myself properties, yeah. uh, which I don't own, houses, mm-hmm. my family house, my family being like my mom's car, my sister's schooling. Mm-hmm. My sisters are now grown. Uh, my one sister's even got a, uh, a child. She's working now, she's driving, she's comfortable. And I think it was all from my effort in football and the money generated in football. Nice. Uh, it made a better life for my family, yeah. no lie. And now... But you would have been proud of that. I mean, that's something yeah. to be very proud of. Just even if you're going through your yeah. darkest moments in the game, but your proudest moments is seeing them succeed. Of course. I think uh, where my family is today and where I also am today, I think it's all thanks to the football. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it shows that with the effort and I think the, uh, the sacrifice we made in football and all the hard work mm. and you see your family living their life that you wished for them to live when you're still a young boy. I think that's also something that says, hey, too so like, pat in the back, you've done well for your mm-hmm. family, boy. Uh, obviously, uh, after football, now comes the challenges that now there's, now that tap closes, that... The regular that, tap. That, that bracket, consistent cap. That I mean, bracket. That, yeah, that bracket <laughs> falls off now. You, now need a me- you, need a, you need a mechanic to come yeah. and fix it. So how do you fix it, though? Because that's the biggest downfall mm. of a lot of football players is that they get so used to it. So remember these things, mm. uh, too. So is that as a footballer, your traveling gets taken care of. You're flying, Mahale. You're going to hotels, Mahale. Everything, Mahale. Just getting a salary now for you to buy rims. Mm. Even if you bought rims last week for your car, you say, you know, I, f- I just want <laughs> to change rims this week. And you buy... Yeah. You, nonsensical things because the money is there. Mm. So now that that tap is closed and that bracket is no longer in effect, mm. how are you making sure now that you keep that level of comfort and consistency in income? Yeah, well, the level of, of income is definitely not the same. Yeah, Obviously, you get uh, money now from the properties that you have, sure. you know, which is not even half of what you're making. So now obviously it comes to you to, are you the person that's going to Except that uh, now the luxury cars, like, mm. it's no use, boy. No, you can... So have you sold some of those cars? Yeah, well, I never s- sold any because I think because my cars, I bought cash. So, okay. yeah, well, uh, my sister, my mom, I, uh, my wife still, there's no car that's gone. Yeah. So nothing has changed in that department. Uh, but I mean... Oh, also, uh, when when I was at Supersport my last year, mm. uh, I degraded from not actually the lifestyle, but I bought a smaller car, okay. and that helped me when because I moved to Pulukwane. So I was mm. I have a Polo which I in petrol didn't spend so much that sure. driving to Pulukwane and back, and that's a car I'm used to driving around Kokasi. Yeah. So for me, it's people around can say, "Oh, you downgraded. You were driving a, a Mac and a One Series." and an X3 and them, like they're at home anyway. So me driving a Polo, Kokasi, for me, it's normal. Like even Makes the guys no I chill with, Kokasi, like for me, I'm still, you It's know, a car, man, it's friend. Same. You know what, at the end of <laughs> yeah. the day, it's a car, it got you here. Yeah. You came for the interview. Yeah. None of the people that come here, I, do I ever know what they drive because that really does not matter. As yeah. long as you arrive, I'm like, ah, he arrived, You're it's right. cool. Yeah. It's like people that buy expensive pens. So if you go and you sign in at security <laughs> and you say, Tuso Paula arrived <laughs> at 1800, I don't know from the ink mm-hmm. if that was a Mont Blanc or that was a big. So mm-hmm. whether it was a big or a Mont Blanc, it really doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. All that matters is you've signed. <laughs> <and> you're here. <laughs> Hashtag MSW live now. on 947 Vuma FM, Rise FM, and Soweto Live. At the same time. Hashtag MSW. We pick the better bus. Out with the blue and in with the open view. Extra drama. Extra loves. Extra romance. Extra action. They've got that too, babes. All you need to do is pick the better box. Pick the better box. And make the better choice. With the once-off payment, break out of your current expensive boring box and get into ours. 
Open View, it's for everyone. Why wait for tomorrow when you can try your luck today on Lotto Star's Ruby Real Rush Games with a new super-sized payout. Spin the wheels to catch the Grand Express Diamond Class, Mayan Cash, Immortal Waste Diamonds, Elephant Stampede, Diamond Explosion 7s, and many more. You could win instant payouts of up to 20 million rand on our Real Rush Games instantly. Lotto Star, your world of live games. Lotto Star is licensed by the Impomalanga Economic Regulator. No under 18s. National Responsible Gambling Program. 0800 006 008. T's and C's apply. All games are fixed on betting events. The official Black Friday combination from Kane. Taking several seats is a Furniture Parker mid-back chair for 1299. Powering up is a Magniso 300 watt portable power station for 3499. The official Black Friday combination. Riding high is a Rally 26 inch Sabre 21 speed mountain bike for 1599. Don't miss these unbeatable deals in store and online. There's only one Black Friday and it's at Kane. Deals valid 15 to 21 November. These are Apply. Some people imagine a lifetime of comfort, others live it. Thanks to Alliance, quality residential and commercial aircons at affordable prices with a five year warranty. Heat pumps for the perfect pool, jacuzzi, and alternative water heating solutions. Our 14 years of proven reliability means quality products at affordable prices with long term service backed by Four Ways Air. Live a life of comfort. Experience the Alliance difference today. Go to allianceair.co.za. My rules, my innovation, my style, my music, my fans. Get the smartphone that the world is talking about and put the world in your hands with up to 50% of Xiaomi smartphones. Sleek, powerful and innovation at your fingertips. Can't you see? It's all about me. Available at Edgar's, Macro and Incredible Connection. Xiaomi. Innovation for everyone. T's and C's apply while stocks last. New looks good. Feels great. Like that new lounger. The firm seat. The ah, relaxation. So much space. Can you feel that? Now feel all of that for longer with a new car from Bitvis McCarthy. The firm seat, the fresh leather, so much space and so ready for adventure. You've been working so hard. Let those hours pay off. Visit mccarthy.co.za or one of our dealerships nationwide. Bitvis McCarthy. We deliver always. Marawa Sports Worldwide. Tuso Palak, what's your desire for football now? I mean, is that hunger still there? Yeah, it is. I think I, I still have a few years to give. Is, is, is your desire for the game, is your heart for the game still there? On and off the field. Did, Remember, yes. Tuso, it's a yes. two-way street. You, you behave on the field, you behave off the field. Is yes, your hunger and there. desire still there? Yes. Would you say your on-field behavior is as good as your off-field behavior? Yes. How sure are you? I'm sure. <laughs> so if I, to, if I had to go to Black Leopards, they would not point to one or two incidents of bad behavior off the field, never? No. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. How sure are you? I'm sure. Hashtag NSW. Hi Rob, uh, um, 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 Lolo. What, what a winger, um, what an attacking midfielder you have there in the studio. I, I truly believe that we, we were robbed of the full potential, Katuso Pala. I truly believe that he never reached his potential um, because he really was a, a great player. Um, I, I don't know, maybe because of the teams that he went to play for after leaving Platinum Stars. But for me, Tuso was robust. He was forceful. I mean, I've watched um, him terrorizing my own team, um, but otherwise a great player. Um, just two questions that I want to ask to Tuso. How was it working with, with his mom um, during his time at Platinum Stars? Um, was it easy? Did he find it easy um, that if he didn't have a, a great game, then he would go to his mom and um, he would then get proper, proper feedback? And also when he didn't have a, a, a great match according to his standards, was it easy? Um, did he find it easy or was it then difficult to work with his mom? The second question is that, um, too, so are you still claiming your rights for the dance that you created in South Africa? because then it became very popular. Uh, I really feel that um, you, you, you were supposed to get um, rights. I don't know what they call it in music. Um, Royalties. Yeah, otherwise you, you are a great player. I still feel that you were robbed of your full potential. Kumbi Kumalo saying that uh, to Sopanda, who if he joined us late, uh, 
Announcing his retirement from all of football right here on hashtag MSW. He is my guest. We are taking your comments. What's up, voice notes, as well as looking at the YouTube comments. We'll get to those in a second. Plenty of happening on the YouTube channel. Um, he's saying that, oh man, they were robbed off the bulk of what your career was all about. Uh, do you claim royalties for that song? I think it was uh, Cleo. Yeah. DJ Cleo. Hey, I don't know about how these royalties work, but we made some money out of the whole song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, he filled me in and I was able to go do gigs where I got paid just to be on stage for a song. Oh, nice. So I really did it. But I don't know how it works also in the music industry. Well, sign if a someone form. dances that dance, they must pay me. Or what? No, but they use your name. Isn't it the, the chorus is Tuso Pala? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who's, so who's, my name to be in the song. Who's Tuso Pala? Me. Yeah. So royalties, you, you I, go... I think I need some professional input into yeah, the we'll talk of it. We'll talk of it, don't <laughs> worry. We'll talk of it. But, uh, you know, <laughs> the more the song gets listened to, yeah, I think it's Samro, um, they make a record of that. Okay. You know, so even when we started the show back then, I mean, I'll tell you something in confidence, where when we play like the, the bed music that we play right now that you can hear in the background and we had it on, on YouTube, then somebody had a problem because they said, ah, you didn't license this. And so then song. we had to go pay so that we could be able to use it. So oh. every time Tusopala plays, somebody gets paid. Are you that person, Asas? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he loves this one. <laughs> All right, here's more voice notes. Evening, Rob, and your guest to Tiso Pala. Rob, you took into a very explosive, uh, energetic, uh, dribbling wizard, uh, a winger of note. Uh, Rob, for me, Tiso Pala had the ability to take on defenders and put in those uh, uh, clinical and clean crosses uh, to strikers uh, to capitalize on. And for me, he's one player who contributed immensely to the number of goals uh, that was scored by uh, Bradley Hobler at uh, Super Sports and uh, my question to Utuso having not had game time recently and watching some of the uh, the games in, in, in PSL and abroad, who is that one player that when you're watching you can possibly see some of the attributes uh, that you have uh, in terms of quality and style of play and uh, explosiveness in the in the field of play. I just want to hear your views around that. Thank you so much. Tuso, how do you answer that? Uh, well, I must say, my attributions to Brady Hobler's goals, or which question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah well, watching the games uh, now, yeah. uh, uh, well, I think that the the football has changed from, well, the team we had a super sport. Mm. I, I, I can't say I find a specific winger that uh, usually played like me. I don't see a team that now plays specifically on crosses, like how we played, go, go super sport. You find a Sundowns, which I enjoy watching, and they don't cross the whole game. Mm. But I would rather watch a Sundowns game than a Super Sport and a Golden Arrows game now. So mm. I enjoy watching Sundowns because of the football they play, but that's not the football I played, go yeah. Super Sport. So I don't say now there's a winger that specifically goes to the. Now I'm out on right winger, like no dribblings, just put it on space, yeah. run past the defender, cross, cross. Mm. Go, run back, defend, get the ball. Yeah, so I was not. Typical right winger straight, not yeah. like a lodge who's got you know the the sugar like the, yeah, the, the yeah, sundowns yeah. wingers. The, spice it yeah. up a little bit. <laughs> because he did say that you you said there's no best right winger in the PSL right now. There's no best right winger. You said there's no right winger better than you. You said this about two years ago. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I say that way now. You said it. I can I can I can whip up the article for you. What, was I playing that time? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, obviously when you play, I would say there's no better right winger than me. At that time, when yeah, I was yeah, playing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, of course. And now? Now who's there? Which winger is there? You tell me. I don't know. You tell uh, me. That's good. Cool, because if your best winger must be in the national team, and the national team, our right winger who plays, uh, is that Mayan Bella boy? He plays overseas, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we sometimes put a lodge there. He's not an out-and-out -out winger. But also, the best players are not always at Bafana Bafana. So that can't be a benchmark. Yeah, but that's the... Highest. They, they're supposed to, but sometimes selection is selective. Okay, so who are your top three winners now? You tell me. In the PSL. You tell me. I see this boy, there's Ratomo, mm -hmm. the Paris boy, who is not an outright winger also. This, that's what I'm saying, the football it's, it's they're playing now. It's, yeah. I'm it's, asking you this deliberately because 
it, it should be top of mind. It should not be a delayed response. Mm. It shouldn't be a delayed response like celebrating, let's say, a coach of the month of August and you celebrate and announce him in November, you know. <laughs> so that's almost like a delayed celebration. That stuff makes no sense to me. Right? Yeah. Um, but it happens. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe sometimes we're guilty for allowing such things to happen. And that for me is crazy. So your, your difficulty in getting the answer is my answer. So that's why I didn't even want to help you. Yeah. In, in terms of that. It shouldn't right. be. L l let me have a couple of um, questions. Are they questions? I think people are just happy to see you, man, on the YouTube channel. Uh, Andrew Mishoki says that, uh, Tuso, you had an amazing career uh, from a young age. Uh, you know, Crazy Chiefs, when did that feature? 2007, six. Yeah. How was that? Oh, dream come true. Playing for Chiefs. Yeah. Yeah, it was a childhood dream. So, But then after I signed for Chiefs, I realized that ish, I'm not good enough yet to play for Chiefs. Why? I was too young. What's too young? It was too, it was too overwhelming. What overwhelmed you? The badge. A confident guy like you? Yeah, now you, because you see, now you see a confident guy, but the 19-year-old boy that signed for Chiefs I, does not make sure of confidence. Come on. Seriously. But when do you think Kaiser Dong made his debut then? Yeah, but, playing for Pirates. Yeah, but Kazam Taung and the Chomosona, they are one of the greatest. Like. Raheem Sterling, when do you think he made his debut? A couple of the kids that are playing in Europe right now, when do they make the I think they are trained for that. I was not I was from coming from a Silver Stars and going to Kaiser Chiefs. Yeah, but Silver Stars, you're not playing table tennis, you're playing football. Yeah, PSL with 10 supporters and you go to 100 supporters in a week. Yeah. It's different. Uh, even if you're confident, but it's different. And I think for me, it was too overwhelming and I had to go. Who do some intimidated channels. you? Yeah? Who intimidated you at Chiefs? No, like being a Chiefs player, like it was not easy. Yeah. Like now I was, I was greeted everywhere in a garage. You're not mall. used to that. I was not used to that. So fast as in a taxi going to a game, a personal game. No one knows. I mean, it takes it like no one knows. I come from the game. I just got against Chiefs. I mean, it takes it. They don't even realize me. Yeah. I go home. But Chiefs like it's different. Can't even get in a taxi. <laughs> well, in fact, they take you out of the taxi and they give you a lift. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> you know, so I, I, I know you're being silly, but at the same time, I, I understand what you're saying. Miguel's joining us on the line. Miguel, good evening. Yeah, Miguel can hear us. All right, take three. Miguel? Uh, Rob, good evening. Yeah, there good you are. How are you doing, sir? I'm good and you? Very well, thanks. Good. I've got three things quickly. Firstly, the show is way too short, like I've said before. Yeah. Uh, the second one, there is no better right wing in the league because we play with false number nines now. We have teams who don't put the ball in the box. So Tuso will always be, for me, one of the best right wingers that the country ever saw. Um, the other thing I want to say to Tuso, you spoke about the money thing and how he made money in football. And does he not maybe sort of want to have this thing that he wants to go back to work, maybe for the PSL Players Union, to help these young boys who are playing for the big teams, who are getting hundreds upon thousands of rand every month, to not say to them, hey, gents, you know what? Life's not just about the fancy car in the parking and training. It's about more than that. Does he, does he not have... Maybe that ambition to go back and, and give that back to football. Sure. Dynamite of a question, Miguel. Thank you so much. And the, Thanks, the, the comment you made, noted, man. Noted. I feel you. <laughs> I feel you, you, my man. brother. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's one I never thought of, um, about going to represent, being part of the Players' Union. I mean, SAFPU was formed many moons ago. They got the recognition mm -hmm. agreement signed with the Premier Soccer League. Yeah. Recognition agreement signed across the board. The mother body has that, they understand it, it's in effect. But do you think that you have it in you to become almost like a unionist, to go and you fight for your fellow professionals? Yeah, I, I like to think so. But I sh knowing me, I'll just agree to whatever. I, I don't think I'll, I'm, I have it in me to go fight for but the players. Come on. You, you, you didn't just agree to whatever when you were. Uh, in the top bracket of earners at Super Sports United. That was an agreement that had to do with negotiation. Yeah, but there was not much negotiating there. 
the, they just offered the offer was drawn up yeah and i agreed so the money was just too much yeah it was not too much it was enough how much was it <laughs> we spoke about brackets it was in that bracket over the 150s now, are you retired now you can talk about figures yeah i'm just keeping the over 150 in those years like after tax oof. Hmm? after tax mm. 150 after tax mm. no 150 as in vet no uh, cross yeah as in when you get it did it did the no my, my cross was over 150 yeah. even after even vet yeah over 150 okay it was there that bracket so i can't go now but now it's difficult for ex players to go you know, if you're gonna go advise this, um, I won't say these young boys, but I mean the current players. Yeah. And then you were earning that money, and you were doing things differently. And mm. then now to come tell someone else who's in that mm. now moment yeah. to do something else. I, for me, I feel like you can only advise. Say, Intona, rather mm. buying this car, buy this house, or ra rather that advice, but not go now and. Now being being a priest to this boy and telling them how they must spend their money, I think they know, man. That after football, it's rough. It's tough. It's rough. Nati Poso says on the YouTube channel. Good evening, uh, Majuputo and Tuso says good luck with your future endeavors in Gunzi. Uh, Pole Pizzo says all the best, Tuso, moving forward with your life from football. Uh, but I know you will continue to make it in life. And Mystic Man says, happy retirement, Tuso. I hope you'll still be involved in football somehow and somewhere. Hey? Leslie Marula says, you know what, simply just enjoying listening to the show. Uh, watch this man. So I think a lot of people take it aback by the announcement. Uh, with that, uh, tell me, what's the score there? India win by how many runs? 70. 70 runs. So India win by 70 runs. We're making... Tuso Bale, cricket uh, specialist right now. <laughs> hmm? You watch this game? Yeah, I do. I mean, we're in the semis, so. You love it? Uh, I support it. You support it? When our country's playing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Who, who's our captain? Vuma. Huh? Bavuma, what? That's all. Bavuma. Bavuma, no? The short Bavuma. guy. Yes, yes he's your height. He was injured, he came on, the batsman. Uh, when are you talking, you're talking like you're tall. He's your height. Ah, but I'm sure I'm taller than you. No, you're not. Ah, for sure, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Same, same, boss. <laughs> oh, I mean... Short man with a big heart, man. I know, yeah. I know, I know. One thing I got to say, man, may that big heart continue to do big things. Uh, I always appreciate you as a human being, and thank you for utilizing this platform in making one of the biggest or the biggest announcements of your life and your career, that of retirement. I don't take that for granted, sir. Wishing you Godspeed, good luck, and when you make a decision as to where life takes you next, you know where we are now. This is the new address. Yeah. Thank you, and thank you for the platform, and thanks for everyone who's been supportive, supporting my career. God bless. Marawa Sports Worldwide Live. In three, two, one. On 947, Vuma FM, Rise FM, and Soweto Live. Hashtag MSW. Hashtag MSW.